Welcome to Daytona Beach, Florida, home to America's premier muscle car showroom, Hankster's Hot Rods, where we own and house anywhere from 65 to 80 vehicles at any given time. If you are watching the vehicle we are about to present to you today on any other advertisement other than Hankster's uh, website, which is hanksters.com, please be sure to visit our website so you can determine whether th this is in fact a current vehicle that we have for sale. If you are watching this on YouTube, uh, on ClassicCars.com, on Hemmings, uh, this vehicle may no longer be uh, available for sale. We own all of our cars, so you're dealing directly with the seller. There are no third parties involved. We are not a consignment dealership. We welcome all of you to visit Hangster's Hot Rods to look at the vehicle you might be purchasing. We encourage all of our buyers to come in person. Uh, Daytona Beach is a, a great tourist destination. There's a lot to do here. Uh, it's, it's a fun two, three day trip, maybe even a week long trip. Uh, come check out your, our cars for yourself. Uh, check out underneath. We'll take it on a test drive. Have some fun. Hangsters.com. And uh, if you want to reach us by phone, it's 386-944-9219. Enjoy today's presentation. Okay, this is the uh, engine bay of a 1965 Ford Mustang convertible. A really neat looking car. Uh, this guy is a C-code car. The numbers are very nice and legible on the top of the uh, uh, inner fender, the way they're supposed to be on the uh, driver's side. It has um, air conditioning. It does not have power steering nor power brakes, but it does have factory air conditioning on the inside. This is a uh, aftermarket compressor, a more modern compressor than Ford used in that era. A much more efficient uh, compressor design. The um, Condenser in the front is nice and free of any dents or anything, still has originality to it. Uh, the correct radiator that would have been released with this car, no dents whatsoever on the uh, core support. Uh, number or the um, radiator designation plate tag still intact. FOMOCO washer bottle still has uh, uh, fluid in it. Uh, correct hoses top and bottom on this guy. It has a fan uh, shroud to come correspond with the uh, clutch fan that's on the uh, motor. Uh, the engine is a 289 two barrel. It's a C-code motor and which designates it as a 289 two barrel. It still retains its uh, auto light two barrel carburetor, cast iron intake manifold, cast iron exhaust manifolds, um, silicone plug wires, a newer style cap and plug wires on this guy. The uh, engine has all the original equipment on it just the way it came from the factory. The correct uh, air cleaner, the correct valve pan covers, the correct uh, um, snout on the air cleaner intake with the down tube going to the exhaust manifolds also. I'm pretty sure that uh, Donnie would have put a new battery in here for us. Uh, everything in this engine compartment is as it was um, from Ford in 1965. The heat is still hooked up to the passenger compartment in the case that it would go to one of the northern county, counties that uh, uh, supposedly have snow and some cold weather, although that wasn't the case this year. But uh, great engine compartment, uh, very, very nominal horsepower engine in this guy, more than enough to push this little guy as long as, as, as fast as you want it to go. A lot of originality in here, certainly no deterioration whatsoever, all the correct colors, uh, correct even decal on the uh, air cleaner. Uh, we're going to go around the rest of them and show you what we can there. Okay, this uh, presentation is for a 1965 Ford Mustang convertible. Really great looking car. It has all the appointments of a GT, but from what I can tell, it's a C code car. To my knowledge, all uh, GTs were an A code car or a K code car. So this guy looks like a GT, but it is not an original from the factory Ford GT. Um, Gaps on the hood to the fenders to the cowl area. You can see everything is really nice and clean and, and well fitted just the way it should be. The paint on this car is much better than Ford put on it in 1965, but we're going to call it a driver quality paint job. It's not a foot deep uh, base coat, clear coat paint on this vehicle. Does have some newer fog lights in the front that would have been part of the GT package. The chrome on them is very, very nice. The center bar going through there with our pony on it, just as nice as you'd hope to find. Again, look at all the fitment and everything on this vehicle on the front. Everything just put together as nicely as you could hope to find one. There's no scuffs or marks or anything whatsoever on this front bumper. And the fitment also is spot on. The lance underneath with our little bumperettes, everything is nice. There's no pull marks on it, no stone chips or dinghies through the ears. Um, 
Uh, turn signal lamps, parking lamps, just as nice and fresh and clean as you'd hope to find. Also, the windows in the grill are really nice. There's no pieces missing or, or chips out of them or anything else. Ford designation across the front. No patina whatsoever on these uh, letters or emblems anywhere. 289 designation on the front. Does have the wheel lip moldings on it. Uh, it has a set of 14 inch uh, correct for the air uh, styled uh, spoke type hubcaps on it. Uh, it does not have styled steel wheels. Look at the uh, gap again. Look at this. It just can't get any better than this. This is as nice a gap as you'll ever hope to find. Wiper arms and blades are correct for this car. It has a tinted windshield in the front. All the soft trim around it is really nice and fresh looking. Dashboard doesn't have any cracks or, or deviations or anything whatsoever. And a really nice fresh looking uh, dash pad in this guy. It has a remote mirror. Is there a Yes, it does. It's a remote mirror on this side. Um, all the trim around your wing area, which is usually deteriorated all the heck. A little tiny bit of patina here and there, but it's nothing that you'll even notice. Uh, very, very good condition. Uh, the wipes, whiskers are, they're not brand new, but they certainly don't need replaced. Everything is nice and uh, relatively fresh yet. Tag inside the door, definitely will give you a good high resolution photo of that, showing the equipment and the serial number and everything with the car, which coincides with our uh, um, numbers underneath the hood, the molded door panels just the way they would be. There's no cracking or problems whatsoever on the uh, door panels themselves, all your actuators, window cranks, door opener, everything, just as fresh as can be. And again, look at all the chrome, how nicely everything is, uh, is finished on this thing. Your seals on the inside here, brand new, fresh, uh, no scuff marks, uh, no marks whatsoever. Inside the doors, again, he's going to show you some really good high resolution pictures of that. How clean the car is uh, inside the hinge area, the door uh, closure area. Seats, front, back, obviously red, pony interior in it also. And uh, just as fresh and clean a car as you could ever hope to find. There's no cracks in the uh, wood grain steering wheel whatsoever. And check this out, an original gauge cluster, not an aftermarket. Um, the uh, tachometer and a working clock. How about that, working clock? And then you have a complement of uh, quadrant of gauges plus your speedometer in the center. And if you notice, that is the original Ford-style uh, air conditioning uh, evaporator on the inside of it here. Uh, great looking car, the lumber on the dash and on the glove box is just as nice as can be. Seat belts in the front, I don't see any seat belts in the rear, but we do have seat belts in the front of this guy. Um, just a great car. It, it really, see the gap? Look at this, everything fitment wise is just as nice as you'd ever hope to find. Does have a red accent stripe to coincide with the red uh, uh, interior on the inside of the vehicle. Uh, there's no patina whatsoever on this side scoop area. Everything around the convertible top area, just as fresh and clean as can be. And I believe we do have a boot with this still in the original bag in the trunk, but we'll get to that in a second here. Um, fitment of the back, really just as nice as you'd hope to find the rear deck. I forgot to mention going down the side. You can't even tell that this car has any doors on it. That's how well everything is fit. Uh, the uh, front fender to the door to the rear quarter panel, just as nice and fresh as can be. BFG radial TA tires. Uh, really give it a nice pop with the uh, spinner style um, spoke top caps that are on this guy. Really a great looking car. And again, to continue with the GT theme that this car has, it does have the trumpet style exhaust uh, exiting through the rear Valance on this car. That was a GT uh, uh, trademark also. So you have the fog lamps in the front. You have the trumpet exhaust out the back. You have the rally cluster, which was an option. This thing gives every indication of being a, a GT car whenever you run by it. Uh, no marks whatsoever around the uh, chrome, around the basils that go around the tail lights. The, the lights themselves are nice and clean and clear. You can see the bumper is just flawless, just like the front one was. There's no marks or scuffs or scratches whatsoever on it. By the way, there is a crack here. We do have another one of these ordered, but this uh, plastic piece in the center of the uh, gas filler door has been ordered, so we do have it. Um, the boot, this is the padding, but the boot itself is in this bag. Uh, there's a spare tire that goes with it and a jack, I believe. There's a jack in here somewhere. Um, trunk itself still has its original 
cardboard ends to it to show that the, the originality of this guy, and there's absolutely no deterioration in the uh, floor area of this guy. Just a really nice jacking instructions up inside. Just a great Mustang, you know, it just, it, it just has a nice look to it, a nice, uh, a lot of originality in this thing, a lot. Uh, going down the passenger side, uh, same as the, you know, the driver's side, I mean, we got our wheel lift moldings, uh, uh, fitment just as nice as can be with the uh, wipes and whiskers, look again here, look at the door gap on this guy, look at this, the fitment. It's a car we don't even have to touch. We do not have to mess with it. Again, our, our uh, door sills and the finish and fit and everything on the vinyl and the interior, the dashboard, everything is as it was. And obviously, it has a console. This is an aftermarket piece that goes over the console. If you don't like it, take it out. But it, it is an aftermarket piece that goes with it. It has a cup holder and a little glove box, too. So it is a functional piece that you might want to either leave in or take out, whatever, whatever you decide. I have a set of pony. Uh, floor mats in it. Great looking interior on this car. Very, very nice inside the doors. There's no indication of any rust around the uh, bottoms or uh, the seals the way they go. Everything closes the way it's supposed to be. And check this out. A matching right hand mirror to the remote adjust mirror on the left hand side. A great addition to have on the car. Now this guy, same as the other, ever so slight patina. I mean you can't, I can't see it but I can feel it. It's just as fresh and nice as can be. Again, look at our gaps here. Look at this. It can't get any better than that. It just can't. The original style antenna that goes with it. Um, Mustang Club uh, uh, paraphernalia on it. Uh, all our decals on the sides, all our emblems, everything nice and fresh as could be, 289 designation. And again, this side is just as straight as the driver's side. This thing's a 65 Mustang convertible. It looks like a GT. I think they did make a few that weren't A code cars, but you'd have to really go search in uh, Ford documentation to find that out. I'm not 100% sure of it. This thing is a C code uh, two barrel car as opposed to a four barrel. Uh, but it has everything as a GT would. Uh, it's a great looking car, it's a great color combination. It's like a pewter silver uh, with a uh, reddish orange interior in it. And of course, our reddish orange stripe down the side of it, white letter BFG tires. Flawless chrome on it, nice fitment. Um, it's just a great car, air conditioned. I don't know how much more you'd want out of a Mustang convertible. It's a 65 and it's available here at Hangsters. And we'd love everybody to come down and take a look at our stuff so we can show you this car and a whole bunch of other ones. You may not decide to buy this one after you see it. You may decide to buy a Camaro convertible, who knows? But um, we have a lot of availability of vehicles here. We usually try to keep about 70 vehicles on the floor at all times. So this is just one. And if you look at our website, you're only going to see about 45 or maybe somewhere middle 40s, upper 40s of them. But that's as fast as Devin and I can get these cars ready. And Jeff can get them ready so that Devin and I can go ahead and uh, uh, do the presentations on them. But this particular one is for sale at Hangsters at this point in time. So take a look at it on our website, hangsters.com. Okay, this is the uh, underside of our 65 Mustang convertible, pewter car with a, an orangish red interior and a nice accent stripe on the side of it. Uh, it gives you the appearance of a GT Mustang in a convertible. A uh, sway bar in the front, which is also a uh, piece for a GT. Um, nice bushings in the front of it, they have been replaced. The uh, uh, tie rod ends appear to have been all replaced at one point in time. The, uh, Ball joints, I can't really tell. Uh, the shock is in the front are absolutely brand new. You can see at this point the motor had been taken out apparently and, and refreshing, uh, but there are no leaks whatsoever on the engine at this point in time. And the bell housing area the same way, and the tranny, uh, C4 tranny the same way. Uh, no leaks on the transmission or tail shaft area. Uh, conventional starter on the front, the original cooling lines not all bent up or anything going forward to the radiator. Torque boxes in the front, which are normally deteriorated, still have their original pinch welds on them. And just as nice as you could ever hope to find. They're very nice and solid. You can see the Ford uh, undercarry. It's like a sound dead undercoating stuff that they sprayed on to seal things up through the years. Uh, nice and fresh yet on the uh, uh, subframes on the front of this guy. Floor pans in the front appear to be all original. Brake lines and the uh, fuel lines going toward the back appear also to be original and not replaced. Speedometer uh, 
cable where it goes into the tranny. Again, no leaks. So we have no leaks in the engine, bell housing area, transmission, tail shaft, nothing at this point. Speedometer gear uh, at this point, but there's a possibility that in a few years you'll find it. It's a muscle car. Um, for the convertibles, they did a lot of structural uh, upgrades on these things, and one of them was to put these huge torque boxes through the center here, and also a tie-in big thick, um, I don't know, it's at least an eighth of an inch thick uh, steel plate that ties them together, three bolts on each side, so that it keeps the car from flexing. The pipes coming off the cast iron exhaust manifolds, I'm going to call them two inch and they do have the correct style crossover pipe um, balance tube for the, uh, uh, the car. U joints on the drive shaft, I can't really tell but it looks like they're much newer so I'm going to say that they've been replaced too. These guys, I'm going to call them two-inch uh, primary pipes, coming back into a uh, <coughs> Flowmaster muffler left and right. Um, great looking exhaust system on this thing. It, uh, uh, it really efficient. A nice dual exhaust system. Torque boxes in front of the springs in the back, the same as they were in the front. Uh, totally undisrupted, all original. Pinch welds all still in place. Nice curvature to the uh, rear springs in the rear of this car too. Forgot to mention, it has drum brakes in the front and it also has drum brakes in the rear uh, and they do a nice efficient job somehow it's managed for the last uh, how many years to not hit anything so I don't think there's any reason to put this on at this point uh, 8 inch Ford rear end which would have been a standard gear uh, rear end for this thing uh, not being a uh, K-code car the uh, floor pans in the back, everything is all original as they were in the front here everything shows the originality with the exception of, where is it, this floor pan. This floor pan has been replaced sometime through the years. Apparently it has been. It appears to have been done but very professionally and with the correct style floor pan also, a regular Ford part uh, that's it replaced. So they did a really great job of doing it. I'm just telling you it has been done. Uh, there's no issues whatsoever with the structural part of this or any deterioration whatsoever uh, with the undercarriage. The, uh, <clears throat> like I said, springs in the back have a nice curvature to them. There's a newer set of shocks in the back, not air shocks, just conventional. Parking brake assembly still hooked up and functional on this guy too. I'm going to call this uh, inch and three quarters. Those are two. I'm going to call these uh, pipes going out the back inch and three quarter uh, pipes from the uh, flow masters out to the trumpets that exit through the uh, uh, rear valance on this guy. The original gas tank, I don't believe it's been replaced. It looks like it does have a lot of originality to it and again it doesn't need any replacement. The drop downs and the quarter panels uh, still have all the pinch welds on them and they also still have the uh, little drain plugs that uh, were put on by Ford. So this car does have a ton of originality to it. Also a nice fresh round of rubber on it, but you can see BFG tires all around it. Um, no leaks in the rear differential also. So you look up through this thing and everything you see is a lot of originality. Everything's been cleaned up and detailed, <clears throat> but this thing is a very nice, nice uh, 65 Mustang uh, convertible with a GT look. Uh, it, it just has a lot of charisma to it. It, it runs well, drives well, which you're going to see here just in a few minutes. Dev and I are going to go for a little jaunt down the road. and. Um, just a nice car. If you're in the market for a Mustang, this is certainly one that uh, should uh, deserve your consideration. And it's here at Hangsters in Daytona Beach. Okay, this is the uh, interior of our 1965 Mustang GT style convertible. Really great looking car. Silver with a reddish orange interior in it. Got a lot of pop to it. Um, let's go everything. Remote control mirrors. And we got a matching one on passenger side. Great addition on this car. Really great thing to have. Um, tachometer, this is called a rally cluster. It was an option in the day. Very expensive. Take a look and see what these cost for a real one. You can see the tachometer is working and believe it or not, look at this. The clock is working. We don't usually care about clocks and radios, but this guy is working. Hard to believe, but it is. Fuel gauge functioning as it should be. Oil pressure up, nice the way it should be. Amp gauge charging just as it should. Temperature gauge just starting to come up. It's just moving a little tiny bit off the cold mark. We just fired this guy up. Um, turn signal to the left is working just the way it should. Turn signal right is working just the way it should. So we got everything working. It does have a power top and the top does work. Um, let's see where the washers, wipers. OK, 
okay, the wiper is functioning just as they should. Okay, what else we got? We got a blower motor on the inside here for all our cables are working for our interior for heat. This is for heat, not for air conditioning. This is our air conditioner. You can hear the motor just loaded down a little bit, and this baby is blowing icicles. So it, it definitely has a functioning Ford air conditioning system in it from 1965. So how's that grab you? Pretty nice car. All right, the only thing we didn't check yet is the radio. Well, we usually don't care about radios, but here we go. Okay, radio is playing. You can hear it is functioning. It's a nice running car. It goes down the road straight. Let's try to break snow hands. See what the, see what it pulls like. Nah, it pulls off to the right for some reason. This guy's pulling off to the right for us. We put the brakes on. We have to get Roger to adjust the brakes. We didn't check the horn. Let's check the horn now. Horn is working just like it should. Nice sound of horn. Nice interior. Uh, everything's working as it should. Speedometer's not jumping up and down. You can see our temperature's up about a third of the way up the gauge, just the way you would expect. Uh, car runs nice. Nice steering resolution to it. It, it has a nice steering feel to it. Um, it goes straight in steering. Brakes definitely pull a little bit to the right. Not real bad. I think it might be just a little bit of non-usage because there it just hardly pulled at all for me. Give this guy a little squirt for you going back here. second year when we started. Um, nice car. Everything's working as it should. Tachometer's tracking nicely. Let's try again. Brakes now hand. See what happens here. Nah, still a little bit to the right. We have to fix that for you. It's a nice car. It goes down the road straight. Just as nice as you'd want. Um, steering has nice resolution to it. Nice tightness to the car. <coughs> There's no... <coughs> shakes or shimmies or rattles or anything in the convertible top or the doors or windows or anything. The car has a nice tight feel to it. Um, it's a nice Mustang convertible. If you're in the market for one and this guy does have air conditioning in it that blows icicles. So this is one that's available to you at Hangsters at Daytona Beach. And uh, again, it certainly deserves your consideration or if you're in the market for one and want to have some summer fun and bring back a lot of memories, this is the guy for you. Nice car. Thank <laughs> you.